Hey, how you doing? It's Grampy. We're back here in our Let's Play world. And we're getting ready to do something different. Um, last time we talked about some plans to go build our storage house. And we're definitely going to do that pretty soon. But I think we're going to take one more episode and um, do something else first. We're going to go to our skeleton grinder and build Impulse SV's um, nano vegetable farm. Wheat, potato, carrots, all the stuff. And uh, he's he did an update to it where it uses a observer block and it makes it a lot, a lot uh, more, I don't know, more efficient. You don't need to kludge it up with with. Uh, with uh, trip wires or any kind of a lever to turn it on. Uh, we're going to take our dog with us too. I want one thing I want to show you is uh, the. I hope that guy gets all the way down here. Sometimes they get hung up in when there's different levels they can stop at for some reason. But let's see if we go far enough, he should follow. There he comes. Okay, you ready, boy? Here we go. We should name him. We will. I think his name is Cooper. <laughs> the other thing I want to show you is this. I dug a tunnel over to the skelly grinder, so um, eventually, I hope that he's not suffocating, eventually we'll uh, widen this up a little and maybe put some ice down. I, I don't know if we'll do that or not. Because, like I said, this isn't a long-term deal. It's not, we're not going to get a lot of use out of it after a while because we're probably going to build better better things. But um, we could do that. <laughs> we could make an ice boat path and just get here in the flash. We'll see. But uh, for now, this is how you get here. He's still with us, hanging in there. I haven't done anything at all, obviously, so... Anyway, here we are, and for now, I'm just going to uh, see he is really interested now. Let me kill these skeletons so I can get him somewhere else. Okay, come on, boy. That's not where I wanted him. Come on in here. Come on. Now you just sit right here and wait. <laughs> Eventually I'm going to use this guy to see if we can AFK for some uh, XP at this thing. It might, might work out okay. But for right now, we just want to find a spot to build our uh, to build this nano farm. And I'm thinking we'll build it right into this wall. Let's see, we got one, two, three, nine. So that should be the middle. Um, dump off some of this inventory. I don't know. Looks like somebody sh he shot that pressure plate with an arrow. So it is uh, it is stuck on for a while. Hope that's not too annoying. But um, I think we're going to build this guy right in here, and I'm not exactly sure. I may need to go look at um, look at SV's video again, but I'm thinking we're going to use the main materials we're going to use are. We 
going to keep with our stone brick theme, but we're going to mix in some of our new uh, spruce wood. And in fact, you can see I've I started to uh, do something different in here. I used oak because I had a bunch of that oak left over from the uh, from my excursion into the abandoned mines to get you know. Um, fencing and all that so let's see um, I may need to go reference uh, I may want a bigger platform than that here I'm not sure these guys seem to be having a really hard time I was thinking the ba the basic design elements would be our spruce wood and then stone bricks in in these areas. I'm sitting here worried about Let's just clear some space for now. Let me use my silk pick. I don't know how much we'll need. I think we'll need to go up a ways. We may just dig right on into a uh, cave up there. I don't know. I don't know if being back here is causing those skeletons to uh, shoot at me and then they it really plays havoc when they do that because they hit each other and then have arrow fights so let me just clear some of this out and uh, then I'm going to go look at that video if I can find Impulse's video. I think he just showed the update in a regular Hermitcraft series or a video not in like a tutorial or anything so I may have, have to look a little bit to find it but um, I'm going to go do that and um, and then we'll be back here. Okay guys we're back and and I watched uh, I watched I couldn't find the episode of Impulse's video but I did find a, a, a guy who did a tutorial that was based off of Impulse's design his name is Digby Diggs and I will leave a uh, I'll leave a link to his tutorial in the description um, and if I ever find Impulse's video, I will leave that too. But the first thing I'm thinking I want to do is move this all back so that it's... Well, I don't know. Maybe this is fine. We don't need a lot of room back here. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So, okay. So, um... I'm going to come up by three here. And then I'm going to place our dirt block. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? So I got to go find some dirt. I bet there's some down here somewhere we can get pretty easy. Um, keep your eye out and let me know if you see any. So I don't miss it. You're kidding. My inventory is completely full. Don't need those. Okay, so. There we go, got some dirt. So I'm going to put my dirt block. Had to go to the nether to get some quartz because we needed a comparator and we need an observer. So the, the materials, guys, to build this thing are you need one observer, you need three dispensers, 
you're going to need some hoppers. I've made five. That I'm not sure if that's enough or not. You need a redstone torch, a comparator. Did I say that? And some redstone dust, and then some building blocks, uh, and then uh, mega quantities of bone meal. <laughs> that's what you're definitely going to need. So we need a way to get back here while we're building. So um, let's do that right here. Uh, and I'm going to go. Am I? I don't know why I would do that. Let's try not to do that. I don't think I need that. So anyway, the next thing we're going to do is add in our dispensers. And the three dispensers go around this dirt block, and they're just going to be pounding this thing with, um, with uh, bone meal. So you put two facing in like this, and then you put a third um, facing down from that block like so. So those are our three dispensers. We're probably going to need to go elevate here a little bit. I'm going to go up two more. Probably get a face full of lava coming down on us here. So there's our dispensers and they're going to be like I said, uh, dispensing a large amount of bone meal. So really, um, guys, if, if you don't have a skeleton grinder or another way to get bones, like, um, like a wither skeleton farm of some kind, um, this farm is going to be frustrating because you got to have you got to have a ton of bones. Um, so anyway, what am I sitting here babbling while I'm trying to figure out what to do? Now what we need right here is a slab, and that slab, what that slab is going to do, it's going to be a very important block. It's not just decoration. It's actually going to be shielding any light from coming in. You know. A, a half slab will, will block the light. A, a stair would do the same thing, but we couldn't get under here with a stair. So this slab is going to be blocking all the light from this dirt block, and it's going to be light level zero. It's five now because it's open from the back, but it, trust me, it will be light level zero, and that's the secret to this farm. If you just bone meal the daylights out of a farm while you're planting seeds as soon as um, as soon as the crop actually tries to grow it will harvest itself and that's the key to what this farm is doing okay but anyway guys what we need is we're gonna place our observer block now so we need a temp block um, right here sorry right there now I think it'd be a good time to create our creates a uh, sorry <laughs> it was a weird block placement but if we break our temp block that will I may be messing up here and I, I, I need to go back a little bit and then I need to go look at the uh, look at the video again I think maybe that's where the observer goes um, we need to create a pouch for our water to hydrate the, uh, the tilled soil. And we need to place our observer block in the right spot. We 
you know, I might just go down here for, at least for now. Only to get my bearings a little better. So let's see. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. We are back. And... Um, what we need to do is build a little deal that looks like this. Um, like that. Not sure how we're going to finish this off back here, but for now let's just open it up. <laughs> okay. I'll quit messing around. So what that creates is the uh, is the holding cell for our water. That's where our water needs to go. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to put the water up at the top level, but it just needs to go right there. So the water goes there, and our observer block is actually going to go right there. with this orientation so so the uh, signal coming out towards the back and the observer part of the block observing the uh, surface of our dirt where we're going to be planting crops so that's the magic secret to this farm actually I'm gonna I don't know what I'm going to do. Nothing for now. So they're there. Um, all we really need to do at this point is um, add in our redstone. And this thing will be fully functional. Now we're going to do a little more than that. We're going to make for some additional storage uh, for for bone meal, and we're going to put a little indicator light up there to let us know when our bone meal needs to be replenished. But I just want to show you how to get the basic farm. Um, I want to show you how to get the basic uh, farm working first. So all that takes is a little bit of... Uh, redstone like this um, place a block on either side of the observer and then out one and then a row right across the top of the observer and then just f uh, put redstone dust on every surface and that believe it or not is the whole farm done. <laughs> guess, guess what I forgot to bring over here. I got plenty of bones, but I need some seeds of some kind, either a ca some carrots or preferably some seeds, because we're going to be growing wheat and I've got nothing. <laughs> That's exactly perfect for my skill. So um, the other thing I forgot to bring is a hoe. And we could make one. In fact, let's just do that real quick because we're going to need to um, we need to hoe the uh, Don't want to forget to do this. It won't work at all without it. So we will hoe the top of that. So there, guys, is the farm done. <coughs> and I could prove it to you if I had some uh, seeds. But since I don't, I'm going to keep working on it <laughs> um, and finish it all out. So the next thing we're going to do is place our hoppers and our two storage chests. So let's just uh, get up here a little bit. I think the hoppers, we need a hopper into each one of these 
Where are my hoppers? We need a hopper into each one of these dispensers. So do your shift click or whatever it is. I don't use shift. Just straight down into each one. And then two more that lead into that top hopper, just like that. And let's see, I think our chests. Where will our chest go? Hang on. Okay, <laughs> I went and looked at the uh, video one more time. So let's work on the redstone light. You're going to need two more hoppers. So we're going to need seven hoppers total instead of the five that I told you. But the f we're going to put our comparator here looking at the uh, contents of this hopper right here. And then we're going to put a, I guess, one of these with our redstone lamp right up there. So this is a temporary. You can break that. And then you'll put a redstone torch right here. And that will... that. So we're going to need to, uh, you know, that might look kind of cool if we just, uh, we'll have to figure out how to see that from, from the other side. We probably should have brought it all in by one now that I look at that. Um, or not. We'll figure it out. Might be kind of cool just to be able to look up, look up and see it above you with everything else kind of built in around it. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But the whole idea is to be able to see it easily, so that's not too cool. Um, so there's the lamp. Now let's work on the uh, the storage chests. You're going to need the, the additional hoppers, two more. And they go like this. They go right in, one into feeding into that hopper and the other one believe it or not feeding you know I could place it here but I want to make sure you see where I'm putting it um, the other one feeding into this one like that and then your chests are going to go we we'll put two double chests so I went I made some more chests too um, so you'll put two double chests on top of that hopper, just like so, and one like that on the other side. So actually we don't want these. I'm going to go up by one again. So that light flies. I don't know if it's because we got some stuff falling into our hoppers here or not. We'll clean it all out when we start anyway. So that spawn proof up there will have 
Might have to drop in way to close it off, but anyway, but we might as well make it spawn proof. So I'm not sure what this is going to look like. We'll have to work on this ceiling. Probably raise the whole thing up to that level. Um, and um, I, th I think in the video he just slabbed across the top so you can see the bottom half of those chests, like so. Um, and then finished this off with whatever, whatever makes you happy. And I think I'm going to use our question is, should I replace that stone brick with a log? I should. I'm going to have to replace the redstone torch. But maybe like that, and then uh, stone bricks here. Boy, they are just, the skeletons are not coexisting very well. And I guess it's because they see they can see me through these holes here and they're shooting at me is my guess and they're hitting each other and that starts a big family feud I guess so anyway guys um, you know we will we don't have the stuff we need here with us of course but we're gonna put a couple of uh, We'll put a couple of item frames here with some bone meal in it just to let let us know that uh, that's what goes here. We'll probably raise this ceiling all the way up to that level. Out to here. We'll probably leave this alone. I'm not sure where our water starts. I think there, but we'll probably just raise it up starting here. And that'll be it. I'm gonna go get some. Uh, I'm gonna get some bone meal, and I'm gonna go get some seeds, and then I'm gonna come back just to prove to you that this thing works. <laughs> so, um, back in a flash. Okay, guys, we're back, and we've got some seeds. So, <laughs> I hope this works after all of this. I think it will. So. To use it, you can see there's no on-off switch or anything like that, no trip wire that we have to build. All you do is walk up and see and stand in this spot and just start planting. And sometimes it takes a little bit. I, I've filled up the uh, each of the dispensers with bone meal off camera. I will fill up those chests as well, which will fill up the whole hoppers. It'll take quite a bit to fill it all up, but just with the with the uh, dispensers full, the indicator light went off, you see. Now remember, that's the observer, so it won't, don't try to fill it up. <laughs> but uh, the, the three dispensers are on the sides and up at the top. So anyway, here we go. I'm a little nervous in case this thing is not right, but uh, here's how it works. It's not dispensing. It's not dispensing. Why would that be? Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, I figured out what's wrong. I went and looked at um, Digby Diggs's video, and I couldn't make it work with his arrangement, but um, I, these these side dispensers weren't being powered. If there was he the way he had it, he had blocks on the sides here with redstone coming across the top. I didn't look in the comments. Maybe he, maybe he put a comment in there about it and changed it or something. But 
this is not powering those uh, this isn't powering those dispensers down there so um, if you take those away however and run your redstone like that so you've got the redstone coming off the the uh, output side of your observer block and it it's going to light it up whenever it observes a state change of the dirt block and then it'll go power both of those dispensers and then come up and power the one up top so this ought to work uh, now I'm pretty sure so let's go um, give it a try there so now you can see that the dispensers are firing if you look at my taskbar you can see the you can see the wheat being generated although not all that fast this thing still acting kind of wonky I'm not sure I mean it's generating wheat but the ones that I've built before generated wheat pretty a lot it seemed like faster than this but maybe not maybe I'm just imagining things so anyway guys this is how we can come down here and generate some wheat it's going to take a lot of uh, it's going to take a lot of bone meal but uh, we got a we got a skelly farm so anyway guys thanks for watching see you next time when we're going to get started on our storage room <laughs>